Peace and love, sweets, and welcome back to another video. I hope everybody's doing well today. It is so beautiful out here. I am at the lake with my honey bunny. Say hey, honey bunny. Okay, honey bunny's not paying attention. But I just wanted to come on here and say hello to everybody and see how everybody's doing. I'm actually taking this time to really just reflect and to get my energy right and to just align myself and ground myself in nature. I always stress that we should do this to bring more peace into our lives so that we can understand ourselves and understand how nature works around us and all that good stuff. I feel good. I'm happy. I hope everybody else is happy and feeling good. I do want to talk a little bit with you all because you know I like to come on here and discuss some stuff with y'all and for all my woke brothers and sisters that can handle it you know it is what it is we really 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 need to be careful with um, what we are actually watching and what we are ingesting also what we are listening to and what we are engaging in all of that stuff is important we have to be a lot more careful when it comes to what we choose I'm sorry I keep watching the water is so pretty the way that it just moves it just flows like it just flows in whatever direction it wants to which is how we should kind of be you know in our lives nothing should be going with the flow we should always be trying to change and do things that are different and just make your life dynamic and purposeful but what I was saying was we really need to be careful what we choose to watch what we choose to engage in conversations all of that stuff because it's a lot of low level, low vibrational stuff going on right now. I mean, people are literally trying to find anything to be negative about. They are trying to find anything to start an argument about gossip, just anything. And there's so much division within our community, outside of our communities. We really need to be careful about what we choose to engage in, where we put our mind, where we um, put our time and our energy. It's very important that we start to you know think things through before we do them think things through before we say them and just kind of move a little bit more purposefully so that you can you know kind of have a little bit more control over what's happening in your life because we invite people we invite energies we invite conversations into our lives that are not even for us we shouldn't even be engaging in that type of shit but we do anyway for whatever reason that you feel like you should in that moment you know, I get it, but some stuff just really needs to just, you know, let it go. Like, I don't want to talk too much about what I'm going through or what I have going on, but I've been dealing a lot with allowing what other people say and do affect me and how I react to it. Um, so, for instance, I've been going to work and doing what I have to do, but sometimes the stuff that is said kind of takes me back, like, who, you know what I'm saying? Like, I almost want to leave my character in order to address it, but then I realize that I'm not going to engage. What, why would I even do that? I know what my purpose is for being here. I know what my point is for being here. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm, I know what my goal is. So, if I know that, why would I even take the time to respond or say anything that's negative or just, you know, like I'm choosing consciously to put my energy somewhere else, arguments included. I'm not arguing with nobody. I'm not going go to be go back and forth with anybody about anything. If there's something that you don't like that I'm doing or that I got going on, that's on you. That's a problem that you have with yourself, um, you know, so... I just wanted everybody to realize and understand that um, you have a lot of control over what's happening to you. You have a lot of control over um, how you choose to respond to things, what you choose to engage in, where you choose to put your time and your energy. You know, that's pretty much all I really wanted to say to you guys. You know, just be a little bit more conscious about where you choose to put your time, your energy, your conversations, what you choose, how you choose to respond to things because. That is very important in growing and being better, you know. And I know for me, I have to walk away from a lot of shit now. Like, it's just like, what's the point, you know? Conversations, even if it's low level, like a lot of people, 
I know now I'm starting to like what? I'm sorry, I couldn't even talk to y'all. I had to jump up and act crazy because Carlos out here running from spiders. I ain't spider man. <laughs> you gotta go back. You wanna go back? You don't even wanna, you don't even wanna go nowhere. Do nothing. Go hey, sweet. So right now I am at an herbalist shop getting some stuff for detox and my sore joints from just working. Um, and keeping my head down so like my upper shoulders are really tense and really tight So I came to a local herbalist who is getting me some essential oils together for my joints as well as a detox tea so that I can clean my colon And then I'm gonna go to house of health for a couple of herbs and I'll take you guys along with me and yeah That's pretty much all I'm doing. This is pretty cool They have lotions teas everything you think of and they also tell you how to mix essential oils into bath salts and it's pretty cool and I'm um, very thankful that I had this experience and that I've um, actually come here and I'm able to benefit from the products that they have available so yeah really cute little store really cute So while I was out on this beautiful Saturday, I found this really cute shop in the city that I live in called TikTok Tea and Snow. And it is super cute. I really wanted some tea. I was so happy I found this spot. It's so stinking cute. I absolutely love the vibe and the energy in there. And the tea was absolutely amazing. For my first time here, they did have smoothies and tea and coffee and everything that you can think of. This is their menu. I personally decided to go with a tea called Berry Love. It was an iced tea and it had fruit in it. I absolutely loved it. It came in this really cute cup. 